Hi, welcome to another tutorial in my series on discrete random variables. Now it's quite important that you learn these particular formulae. They're about variance of a random variable. If x is a random variable and a is a constant, then it can be shown that the variance of any constant is always equal to zero. And if you add or subtract a constant from a random variable x, then the variance of x plus or minus that constant always equals the variance of x. And finally, the variance of a constant times a random variable x is always equal to a squared times that variance of x. Now, I'm giving you these formulas without any proof, but if you do want to know how these come about, okay, then I've done that in a separate tutorial. But basically, if you can learn these, you should be able to apply them, okay? Now, you're bound to get questions along lines like this. You're given the variance of the random variable x, and we're told that it's 5. And we've got to find out what the variance of our random variable x take 3 is, and the variance of 4x, and in C, the variance of 3x plus 1, and finally in D, the variance of 4.2. Now, if you just want to test yourself against these formulae, just pause the video, have a go, and come back when ready, and I'll run through how we do all of these and how they relate to the formulae. Okay? Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Let's just see how you got on. Okay, well, for part A, let's just start that one off. We've got the variance of x minus 3. Now, according to this formula here, okay, if we subtract 3 from our random variable x, a is the 3, then this is the same as the variance of x. So, in other words, this equals variance of x. And what is the variance of x? Well, it's 5. So, our answer then is clearly 5. Part B now. Variance of 4x. We're multiplying our random variable x by 4. So, what does this equal? Well, it's this one here, this formula here, where whatever our constant is, which in this case was 4, we square it and multiply it by the variance of x. So in other words, this is going to be 4 squared, or 16, times the variance of x. So we get 16 times the 5. 16 times 5 is 80. When it comes to c, we've got a combination of these two ideas. Look, we've got the variance then of 3x plus 1. So this is exactly the same using this rule, okay, where we add or subtract a constant. We're adding the constant 1. So it's going to be the same as just the variance of 3x. Because Whatever constant we have here, whether it be plus or minus, we just drop it, okay? And it just becomes the variance of our random variable. And our random variable is 3x. So we're back to this idea here now, where a is the 3, and we end up squaring it. So it's going to be 3 squared times the variance of x. 3 squared is 9, and the variance of x was 5. So we've got 9 fives, which are 45. So I hope you got that one. Now we've got D, and we've got the variance of 4.2. And 4.2 is just a constant. And the variance of a constant is simply naught. OK? So I hope you got those, and that if you get anything like this, if you learn these formally, you should be able to apply them to anything like this and hopefully get the right answer. And as I say, if you're 
a bit concerned how we get these results then do look at my tutorial which uh, you should find a link if you're looking at this tutorial on my site below this particular video and uh, I'll show you in some detail how we get those particular results okay well thanks for listening and uh, good luck with this